are here. No. I have something for you. For me? Yes, I do. What is this? Money now. <laughs> you asking me what is it. How come this one now? Carry me along. Uh, yeah. Charles actually sent us money, so he said I should give you this one. Charles? Yes, now. Send some money? Yes, I do. Hey! Look at the electric sun. This is. Where is Benita? Mm, I think she's with Charles. Let her stay more than one week with him. <laughs> Tell Benita to spend more time with Charles. This is lucrative. I need young men with the resource. Listen, I will drive your elder sister from this house. Uh, that's, that's I will send that, that girl. That. What is she doing with this thing in front and the other one at the back? It's actually the beginning, Dad. Huh. Listen, the way you want to wind me, start from the leg. I'll, Don't start with the I'll elderly intelligent. No this is the beginning. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Yes. Hey! If the beginning will be like, let every beginning be like this. Hey, let it. Hey! Naira Rain! Look at the moon! Daddy, enjoy yourself. Yes, enjoy yourself. You people are. Hey! Oh, look wow. at me! Here I will go! <laughs> Just wherever you are, if whatever you are doing, let everything be working for you. Amen! Hey. Amen! This is 30,000. Yes, Daddy. I hope Benita is not giving him any problem at no, all. No, not at all. One how? I don't want this kind of uh, engagement to disappear. No, no. Hey, this hey, is yeah, wonderful. Yeah, so Please go and get me two bottles of Gouda. Because say so. Get me two Gouda. <laughs> okay. And tell her, uh, bia, 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 bia. Come, tell her, uh, Mama Kechi, to get me this uh, pieces meat. Eh? 1,000 naira. Oh, let me start the celebration immediately. Okay, hey, Charles, a good mother. This is Charles. I have to hide this one because this is your elder sister. I don't know. Anna and Tricia, I invited the two of you here so that I can talk to you about my movement in the next two days. Hmm? I will be traveling, and that's why I say let me inform the both of you. But um, where is your sister? She went out. She went out. I think that girl is becoming very resourceful these days. I, I encourage her going out and coming in. Because every time she goes out, she brings something home. And that is uh, a worldly daughter that she is. Dad, that's not fair. Hannah, how many times have I told you that any time you see me talking, you should not bully again? You should never shout. Because you sat down there as the elder sister, unproductive. What have you been bringing home? No. What have you been bringing home that you don't know that God has blessed you with some certain things you need to go out there and generate money and bless my life? You don't know? You are talking about your sister. Can't you look at that girl that she's moderate and people are investing in something that is important and you are there wasting? Let me warn you for the very first time. This thing that you have here is not for, for jokes. Ah. Uh -uh. And that man that you have been bringing here that have a short trouser, you better be very careful. Why will you be bringing a man that his trouser is not complete? I am warning you, the next time I see the both of you near that coconut, I swear I would commit something silly. You think I am, I'm, I'm happy with you, bringing somebody that is not resourceful? How much have you given to me? No, all the time he has been damaging the middle waist. How much have you given to me? Look at Benita now. Most recently she has started bringing money and I'm happy with her. You can go out and come back any time you like. It doesn't matter, but I'm writing time, the time you left. All these things that I've been teaching you. Look at why God has endowed you and you're wasting it. Okay, you know what? Let me give you an idea. In Nigeria, they have sophisticated markets. There is one they call a Jalaba International Market. And the one they have Trade Fair International Market. If you don't know how to catch men, walk through one of the lines. Shake yourself. You see men that are interested. Look at the shops. You see some, once they wink eye, catch up. But if you see the shop, there is no much goods there. Move away from that place. It means that the devil will become your automatic father-in-law when you marry a poor man. It's a very big problem. I'm telling you now. So, but if you see the place well packed, come and engage yourself. Collect number, then let the WhatsApp do his work. That is just what I want to tell you. Your sister is doing very well. I want to quickly uh, go to Abuja. You know, this is political uh, era. Mm -hmm. If nobody moves on time, people will share the money. There is no pity. You know that woman leader? Eh? That woman with one eye. If nobody moves on time now, she will share the money to her king's men. And that's what she's used to. Are you understanding what I'm trying to tell you now? So meanwhile, before I leave, I want to engage you to be the 
supervisor of this house. Don't be a dormant, uh, dummy senior sister. Anytime you see any of these ones going out, write the time, write the hour. The moment I come, I'll calculate the money and my notes. I know the, how many hours they spend. So they will give me my money. And this for you, this place is not a church gathering. Look for a resourceful boyfriend that will give you money so that you bless my life. Are you hearing me? Look at what you have in front of you. Don't you know that God has blessed you? Everywhere is in doubt and the idea is shaking. Don't go and be wasting this thing. No. Don't waste it. Nonsense. Daddy, when are you coming back? That is exactly what I'm saying. If there is plenty of money in the campaign, because most of these politicians, some of them are very stingy. Why we have some that are still spreading money around? Are you hearing me? If there is money, I will spend longer time. But to be honest, there is no money. In the next one week, you see me here. I don't walk in the street where we don't pick money. Are you hearing me? Uh, so what about the 2000? You went out with Peter. The 2005, you say you want to have her. I will transfer it to you immediately now. You know me. When, when are you doing the transfer? No, I have my phone. Yeah, where is it? Give us chance. Let's two of us talk. I say give us chance now. You are the senior sister only for age, not for money. Get out. This is not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> you see, look at the way you are rolling it. That is what they need up there. Eh? Do you know that if you go to Abuja with most of these politicians now, they will even forget their manifesto and remember what is in your manifesto. This thing you are carrying is one of the party's manifesto. They are talking nonsense. So, this is where we are. Hmm? Transfer the money on time. I don't joke with you. Are you hearing me? She's not like that. I don't. I don't know. Maybe she's not in the mood. It's okay. Take your time. Thank you. Sorry, I'm coming. Just for a minute. Shake. Who was that? I told you before. He is my friend. I mean, my boyfriend. <laughs> boyfriend? I mean, Benita, your wayek is in a few months' time. And that guy is not even looking responsible. And you don't even know him. I know him too well. We've been dating for a while now. Dating Benita. And as fate we even have it, he stays around the neighborhood. We just decided to meet in person today. So just because of that, you decided to make him your boyfriend. Like, I don't know if it's just me. That guy is not looking responsible. I mean, he's even looking suspicious. It is you and your thinking. So this is how you want to talk to me now. That guy is responsible. He is the CEO of a company. <laughs> Was that what he told you? Like, you can't just jump into conclusion like this. I mean, the guy you just met online, and you're taking this too far. It is risky. It is not risky. He loves me, and likewise do I. Love. <laughs> well, see, Benita, it's because daddy traveled, right? Don't worry, when he comes back, I will report to him about all these things you've been doing, all this your misconduct. Don't bother. Because if daddy comes back, Charles is going to come and see daddy and pay my bride price. Excuse me, bride price. <laughs> Just like that. Boyfriend, dating, bride price, marriage. This guy is so funny. I mean, who does that? Oh, God. Sister. 
Sister Trisha. That was how Sister Anna almost disgraced my guest. Hmm. Thank God he was not even angry. At least he shows he loves you a lot. Yes, so. At least. Not like some old cargo that have never even tested love before. <laughs> but guess what? He has promised to take care of me. And once we get married, he's going to take me out of the country. You don't mean it. <laughs> Well done, Benita. Like, you met a guy on a dating site and you fell in love with him immediately. Who does that? Okay, fine. You decided to meet him for the first time and the first thing that came to your mind was to bring him home. Our home. For God's sake, you don't know this guy. I know him too well. Charles is a good guy. And he owns one of the biggest companies in the US. US? <laughs> Don't be easily deceived, Benita. What if this guy is an internet fraudster? Anna, let me tell you something. You are the one jumping into conclusion here. Don't be judgmental. Besides, Benita is not a kid. And she cannot be deceived, please. Tell her, oh, I don't know how she reason at times. <sighs> Sister Anna, don't you want to better our lives? I know we are not poor, but just look at this at this aspect. Charles have come into our lives to make it better, and I feel we should use this opportunity wisely. Benita, God will better our life at the right time. Believe me, our life will be better at the right time. Don't be too forward. Like for real? Well, for your information, I don't care what you or others think about Charles. All I know is Charles is a good man and... As much as I know, he is rich. So please, excuse me, if you care, join me in the room. Please join me. I don't understand. Like, she's still very young. My dear, I am sick and tired of Benita's recent behavior. Like, I mean, she doesn't even respect me again as her elder sister. <laughs> you don't mean it. You know, Anna, as a elder sister, you have to keep talking to her. For how long will I keep talking to her? You know what? Sometimes I feel like beating her. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and beat her. See, let me tell you, my younger ones cannot do that with me. They know me. They know what I am capable of doing. Who does that? See, if you don't take care of these girls, they will go astray. Go ahead, beat her. I'm in support of that. Please, you just have to do something about it. You are going too far. As in, it hasn't gotten to that. It has. It has, it has gotten. Moved. It has. You know, you need to give her some time. She's going to change. When? She will change. When? You think so? Not I think so. I know so. She's gonna change. Come to think of it, I don't know if it's because I'm being so soft to, like to her or something. Anyway, that's by the way. So tell us, when is your dad coming back? <laughs> well, I don't know for now. Baby, you know, I have been worried since I came to your house yesterday. Baby, 
I've told you not to be bothered. Anna is my sister. And I know her so well. That's just her character. You know I love you so much. And I'll do anything to make you happy. You know, coming to meet your sisters, you know, you know, get to know each other better, at least that will give me more privilege to come to your house anytime, any day. And the other person I've not met in person and hoping to meet us soon. At least we get to know each other better. You mean Trisha? Trisha is a very accommodating person and she's easygoing. So she'll like you. I think so. Anyways, have this. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Give Anna a larger share. Okay, I will. I'm sorry. Yeah. I hope she likes me. Yes, darling. I know what to tell her. Really? Yeah. I know you're the best. Yeah, I love you too, baby. Okay, let me be on my way. Oh, okay, baby. Okay. We'll talk on time. Sure, I'll call you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Don't miss me too much. Benita, help me tell Trisha that I'm done with the restroom. She can use it now. use the bathroom. I have a surprise for both of you. This is for you. All this for me? Yes. Well, Benita, thank you. Take. Benita, where did you get this money from? Can't you guess? Moreover, money is money. <sighs> Benita, if you don't tell me how this money came by, I won't take this money from you. This money is from Charles. He just wanted to be nice to you guys. Charles? God bless you more. Wow. Take. I said I don't want the money. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Or don't you want to get something for yourself? I don't want any form of gift from that guy. I don't want to be indebted to him. Oh. Ah, what if something bad happens? There you go again with your negative thoughts. Nothing is going to happen to Charles. He just wanted to be kind. <laughs> he just wants to be kind. My sister. I have needs so. though. I need money. But me receiving money from him is a question of my morality. So, I can't receive money from him. You can't just receive gift from guys just like that. You have needs. You think you have needs. And you're looking at money, you don't want to take it. Me, I have needs, so I need money. Just allow her. You know how she is. Let me help her keep hers if she does not want it. See who is talking. Well, enjoy. 
I don't care. 